All right, it is called Hyperloop. That's a technology that's being pushed by Elon Musk at Tesla. It would get you from L.A. to San Francisco in about 30 minutes, they say. But this project is constantly delayed. Come on in, Dirk Alborn, CEO of Hyperloop Technolo Transportation Technology. I think I'm right in saying that it has been delayed frequently. Why the delay? You've, is there some problem with the technology? <laughs> well, I mean, we started roughly three years ago, and um, we have built prototypes. We have made agreements with governments. We are getting ready to build the first full-scale passenger system. There's definitely no delay. I wish more technologies would move at this pace. That's not what um, I'm told. I'm told that uh, there have been frequent delays. Have you broke ground yet on the project? So we filed our building permits beginning of the year. We did the mapping and surveying of the land. We are right now doing the environmental studies here in California. In the meantime, we have done several agreements with governments all around the world. So one of the biggest issues with a new technology like that is, of course, that you, you need to do completely new regulations. So um, that's obviously something that takes some while. Okay, are you being delayed by legal challenges? Not on, um, not on our pilot projects. So, um, but again, in order to really move forward and be building hundreds of miles of, uh, of a new transportation system, you need to work with governments in order to create these new regulations. So, uh, when can you tell me that you will have the Hyperloop in place functioning and working. Can you give me a date? <laughs> yes, yeah, so the first, um, the first project will start construction very soon over the next couple of months and we expect roughly three months from uh, the moment that we're breaking ground, sorry, three years actually, un until you can use the Hyperloop. So you're, te you're telling me that in three years from now I can do this trip LA to San Francisco in 30 minutes? Three years from now? <laughs> well, not lo not Los Angeles to San Francisco, that would take a little bit longer, but uh, the first pilot project that we're having here in California, as I said earlier, we filed the building permits beginning of this year, so we're just finalizing the environmental studies, and then we signed an agreement with the government in, of Slovakia and Europe, well, wait, as well the, as the, the California in, project. In how, the long, how, how, how long is the pro California project? Is it miles long, or is it a, just a, a small demonstration? <laughs> Yeah, it's inside a newly to be built town, so it's um, roughly five miles. It's a local transportation system inside this new town that has an entertainment district. So there's going to be a shopping mall, um, a big uh, theme park, and several resorts. And you'll have that in three years? Yes, correct. Oh. I mean, from our side at least. <laughs> ah, ah, from our side. Look, I, I don't want to pour cold water on this, but we're so used to these. These, these extraordinary projects, and they never happen. I mean, it reminds me of the bullet train that's supposed to go from L.A. to California, whatever it's supposed to go to. <laughs> it's not happened. It hasn't even started, to my knowledge. And you're telling me that in three years you're going to have a new town built and all this jazz? I mean, forgive my skepticism, sir, but I'm a skeptic. <laughs> well, we're not building the town. We're building the Hyperloop system and that takes roughly three years. It's actually, if, if you look at it from an infrastructure point of view, it's pylons and tubes, so um, very similar to any kind of bridge system that you're building today. Again, the technology has been, you know, has been finished over the last three years. We're ready now to build version number one. And okay. um, one of the most important parts, I would say, is actually that this project is, it's not a public project, it's a private project. So we're not depending on uh, government subsidies. It's, uh, it's, it actually has a business model. I tell you what, Dirk, it is now December the 15th, 2016. I'll give you $1,000 cash if I can take a ride on your Hyperloop on December 15th, 2019. Are you on? Well, I mean, again, from the moment we start breaking ground, it's going to be three years. So uh, it might not be December the 15th, but it will probably be early 2020. I'll give you a thousand bucks if it's early 2020. Are you on? All right, we, we spend them together, I guess. <laughs> okay. Hey, Dirk, thanks very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Please forgive my skepticism. <laughs> it's California. <laughs> no problem.